Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and today we're taking a look at the brand new preset pack Genesis that we've released. We're going to do a quick overview and also a demonstration tutorial on how we like to edit our photos using this pack. So, first things first, let's get some photos in Lightroom. I've got a session by Zach Sorensen. He's a talented photographer based in LA. You can check his Instagram out here. And this was just a quick trip that he took up to San Francisco with a couple of friends, grabbed a few photos, and we just took the highlights for fun. So nothing super wild and crazy here. We've just got some landscapes. We've got a mixture of that, a couple of candid portraits, some skateboarding stuff, just some variety to work with and some different colors. So first things first, what I normally do is once I've culled my photos, that means sorted them into the ones that I actually want to keep. After I do that, I'm going to go and find a look that I kind of like, a vibe that will match with the rest of the session. So rather than editing one photo once at a time and kind of doing whatever I want with that photo, I try and find a look or a theme that will tie all the photos together. So if you do engagement shoots or weddings or anything that is a set of photos instead of a one-off like an ad, um, if you've got a set of photos, generally you want them to have the same feel. So that's what this preset system is all about. And we've got four looks in here. We've got signature edits one, two, three, and four. And of those looks, each one has three levels of intensity. You've got one here, one plus, one plus plus, and then signature edits one, night. And the night just has noise reduction applied and some very minor variations in the color so that it's maximizing the way that color appears when you're in low light situations. Now the reason that these aren't in order right now is because Lightroom has just released an update and so far it's put our presets out of order. Normally, and by the time you get this, you should have them in order. You've got one and then number two and then number three, but for now I'm just going to have to dig around. So what I normally do is I'll just look around. One is kind of your more standard color. Two, you'll find has warmer greens, kind of maximizing those tones. Uh, where's two? And three is a bit more of an intense profile. It doesn't seem to work with this particular camera's exposure and whatnot for this particular photo, but that's the point. Between these four, you'll have something that you like. And four is more of a vintage, probably the most extreme, um, extreme color variations in number four. It's definitely thinking dark and moody. So for now, what I normally do is I choose number one or two because they're just the most mild preset. So I'm going to go probably with number one here. We're going to go Command-A, and I'm just going to show you how quick and simple this is. We're going to sync, check all, and just make sure you uncheck crop, local adjustments, exposure, and white balance. Those are the things that from photo to photo you're going to adjust individually. The rest of this, generally, you can just apply across the board. So let's take a look. Now we've pasted, what I'm going to do next is just go through and adjust the exposure and the white balance for each image and possibly here and there the contrast. So you can see already, one click, I didn't have to do anything too drastic, I just adjusted the exposure down slightly, the contrast down, and that photo looks great. I think we're gonna see a trend here, we're just gonna lower the contrast, lower the exposure, bam. And with this one I might press R, and just straighten it out. Perfect. This guy's overexposed a bit, so we're gonna take her down, you can actually adjust your exposure using the plus and minus keys. That's a big time saver when you're editing. And contrast down just a little bit. Perfect. So you can see these presets work very quickly. So when I'm editing a session, normally I'll find the look that I like the most, whether it's one, two, three, or four. And then I'll just go through really quick, adjust my exposure using the plus and minus keys, and occasionally a bit of contrast or white balance as necessary. So I'm going to show you just how fast it is to get good looks with these photos. That one I'm not even going to touch. It looks great. This one looks good, except we've got some really harsh lighting going on, so we're going to take the contrast way down and then lower the exposure. So this photo is pretty good. We're going to adjust the exposure down. And it's looking pretty blue, so we're also going to warm it up just a little bit. Perfect. See how fast and easy that is? One click, and we're done. This guy is interesting because we've got a sunset photo, so obviously Zach is exposed for this sunset so that we don't blow out the sky. But in the process of having the sunset exposed, you're going to find your buildings are too dark. So that's one thing that a one-click preset will never be able to quite take care of on its own. What I'm going to do really fast is just grab one of these 
gradient filters. And I'm going to go up to exposure and just brighten it up. Just like that. Maybe not quite so wild and crazy. Good. Before, after. This guy obviously is looking pretty blue, so we're just going to brighten the white balance up, brighten the photo just a little. You know what? I actually like the mood of the dark, but I just want to put some more emphasis on the skateboarder here in the middle, so we're just going to go again into brighten with our adjustment brush. Grab a radial filter this time and brighten just the center of the image. Now I know this is obvious, but we just need to set our feather up so it's very gradual. Turn that down a little bit and then turning the contrast down sometimes can actually brighten things within your image. See how that darkens it, lowering it will just brighten it very selectively. Just like that. Great. So again, landscape photos, things that you want to spend more time on, you can go ahead and take more time. But the presets give you really great color just out of the gate. So this guy, we're going to adjust like so. And then we're going to paint down on this little section here, because obviously this is pretty well exposed, whereas this hill here is quite dark. So we're just going to take our adjustment brush, paint over there and brighten it up. Now, this looks terrible, but bear with me here. We're not going to brighten it that much. We're actually just going to take the contrast down a little because the blacks are being crushed a little too much in the plants here. Take our clarity up, a little bit of sharpness. Perfect. And darken everything. And maybe do a little less contrast on this image overall. Now, obviously, you could take an hour. We actually have a 20 minute tutorial just teaching how we edit our landscape photos and go really in depth. We paint the road, we emphasize the, the darks and the lights, and we maximize the dynamic range within the photo. But we're looking at presets here for the simple kind of scenario of you have 100 photos to edit. How do you do that quickly, efficiently, and still get great results? So that's an example that we've done. We've gone through all of these photos, and just like that, we have a nice look. Now, what if I decide I want to try the other looks? Well, that's pretty easy. All I have to do is go up here in the corner, and let's say that we want to try number two instead. Or actually, let's try number four, because that one's more of a moody vibe. There's number four, and all we have to do is go sync again. We're not going to sync our local adjustments, our exposure, white balance, or crop. Spot removal we also should uncheck. And then number four is applied, and since we've already gone through and we've adjusted our exposure, Everything should look pretty good out of the gate. Maybe some minor adjustments from image to image, but it should be pretty close. Now, other than the fact that Lightroom is struggling a little to keep up with me, our images are done, edited, and I can export those right away. So if I press Shift Command E, I'll bring up my export dialog. It comes with its own export presets as well, optimized for print, web, Facebook, and Instagram. So for now, I'm just going to go to Facebook right there. And it's automatically going to put things in a subfolder called Facebook. We're going to name this as San Fran. And just like that, if you want to, you can add your watermark. We're not going to for now. We're just going to hit export. And we're done, just like that. So that is the new Signature Edits Genesis Preset Pack. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more great content and training, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.